Sorry. I, I was just petting my dog. Whew. That hurt. Sorry about that. I just had so much free time on my hands after switching over to AI presets. Have you been stuck editing your pictures like this? You are wasting your time. Instead, start editing like this. Now with the implementation of AI masking inside of Lightroom, we can use them as presets to speed up our workflow. What's going on everyone? Jay LeBlanc here, wedding photographer and photography educator. Listen, Lightroom has had presets forever. And now it seems like every photographer on YouTube is selling their presets to some lonely photographer who just wishes one day their pictures could be as good as theirs. Don't worry. I was that photographer once too. But I'm here to help you. Stop wasting your money on other people's presets. It's easy to make your own. Well, lucky for you, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to give you some knowledge on your editing workflow and maybe save you from spending your hard earned money on other photographers' presets. And instead, you can buy that camera that you've been looking at on B&H for the last six months that you swear will make you a better photographer. Not too long ago came the addition of masks directly inside of Lightroom. Now we have AI masks where at the click of one button, we can mask the sky, the background, an object, or even a person. And Lightroom does it all for us. Well now we can combine the power of AI masking and presets to completely speed up our workflow and transform our images. Speaking of AI, when you hear AI, what do you think of? I don't know why, but I always think of like a hamster inside of some futuristic control room, just behind the computer answering my stupid prompts that I enter into chat GPT. So let's jump inside of Lightroom and check out some of these cool features. I'm just gonna show you on this example real quick. Right here, we're gonna go from this picture, which is straight out of camera, to this using just my generic preset and then a couple of these AI presets. So first thing I'm gonna do here is just apply a preset that I like for this picture. I think my preset made it a little overexposed so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, maybe bring this down about a half a stop. Cool, that looks about good. All right, so what we're gonna do is over here on the left-hand side, check out a couple of these AI presets I've already built and I put them in their own separate folder with my little robot emoji here. And I'm gonna show you how I built these. And we're gonna build a couple new ones together. So I find that when I'm shooting in situations where it's very gray and lots of cloud coverage and the lighting's very flat and boring, one thing that I really like to do is I usually darken my background down a little bit and I brighten my subject. It helps just separate them just a little bit and it adds a little bit more contrast and depth to your picture in a lighting situation that you may not actually have that in the scene. And it helps make our images a, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more impactful. So I'm gonna show you here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click these two presets I already have made, and we're gonna check out what it does. So I'm gonna darken my background down, and we're gonna brighten my subject. And just like that, Lightroom has created two new masks, mask one being for our subject, and mask two being for our background. And you can see if I click into it, what it's doing, we're adding a little bit to the exposure and then we're upping our highlights a little bit or upping our shadows a little bit. I'll turn that off and then back on. So you can see it's just adding a little bit to our subject to help them pop off of the picture a little bit better. And then for our background, you can see Lightroom did a great job at masking out our background. I'll turn this one off and on so you can see what it's doing here. And when I click into this one, we're basically doing the opposite of what the subject brighten is doing. So I'm lowering the exposure just a little bit. I'm taking my highlights down a little bit and we're taking the shadows down a little bit. And now if I turn both of these masks off, you'll see what it's really doing here. It's helping our subject just pop off of the background a little bit. And what I wanna do now is I wanna build an AI preset with you. So how about let's, let's try a skin softening one. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna go to create new mask and we're gonna do select people. We're gonna let Lightroom do its thing, trying to find a person. Hey, look, we found a person, cool. And then we click on that person and it comes up with all these options of different things that we wanna mask. Because we wanna soften the skin, I'm only looking at facial skin here. So I'm gonna click that little check mark and click create mask. Now I've done this in the past, so I kinda know what settings work for me. And you can play around with it to see how heavy you wanna go with your skin softening technique. But this is kinda like the happy medium that I found that doesn't make somebody look like plastic and still keeps some detail in their face. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna jump inside of this effects panel right here. And I'm gonna take my texture down to minus 30. And then I'm gonna take my clarity down to 
about minus 10. And we're going to take the dehaze down to about minus 5. Cool. And then we're going to go down to the next panel where it says detail. And we're going to take our sharpness down to minus 10. And we're going to actually add back in some noise. So everything that we're doing so far is really taking away a lot of that texture. And what we want to do is not make it look so smooth that you can't see anything in their skin. And I will zoom in here so you can really see what's going on with the face. I'll just turn that one mask off and then back on, off and then back on. Just lightening up some of those shadows there and smoothing our skin out a little bit. And as you can see, we still have some texture and detail in the face without making her look too plasticky. And now this may not be everybody's kind of taste for skin softening. So you can always come up here to where it says amount and we can take this slider and we can drag it down so we're applying less. Or if you want to go total plastic, we can go all the way up to the right to 200. But I'm going to leave it right here in the middle. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the left side underneath our preset panel. We're going to click plus. So we're going to create a preset. And what I'm going to do is we're going to name it skin softening. And I'm going to check just mask three. That's the only thing we want checked here. And then we can also include our support amount slider. That way we can feather it depending on the images in the future. And I'm putting it inside of my AI preset folder. So I'm going to create it. So now we have that saved as an AI preset. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this mask real quick. Delete mask three. And on the left side, I'm going to come right over here to skin softening. Click that. And boom, we have our skin softening applied with an AI created mask. And now if we zoom back out, we can see what all three of our masks are doing. Just helping that person kind of pop off of the background a little bit, create a little bit more depth and dimension to a scene where it was very flat and very boring because of the cloudy conditions. So next we're going to check out another image. Here we have an image of just some trees on the beach. I took this picture when I was in Costa Rica and I'm thinking, let's create another AI preset. For this one, I want to do something to the sky. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go back through the same process. We're going to click on our mask. We're going to click on sky, allow Lightroom to auto detect the sky for us. And it creates a very lovely mask there. Just like with the skin softening, I know what kind of works for me. And I'm just going to dial those settings in right now. You can play with this to your own taste. Maybe you want to add more or less of something, or maybe you want to do a totally different style, and that's fine. But I'm just showing you the process of creating that AI mask. So what I'm going to do is raise my whites up to about plus 20, and we're going to drop the blacks down to about minus 20, create a little bit of contrast there in the sky. Then I'm going to take my saturation up to 50. We're going to really crank it up. And Right now, yeah, it might look like too much, but stick with me for a minute. And then I'm also going to take my clarity up to about 50. So it's really just a dramatic sky. And what I'm going to do is we're going through the same process. We're going to go back over to our presets. We're going to click plus create preset. And I'm going to name this one Enhance Sky. Cool. And all we're going to do is click on mask one. Make sure we have our support amount slider checked. And we're going to create that. Just always make sure that you're going into the right group. I'm leaving it right with all my AI presets. And we're going to go ahead and create that one. So now I've created this AI preset to enhance skies for any picture. And remember, I have this amount slider here at the top where I can dial it back or really crank it up depending on how dramatic we want to go with the sky. For this image, I think I'm actually going to pull it back to maybe about 50. And if we turn that off and on we can see that it adds just a nice little pop to the sky to help it jump off of the page at us. So now let's take this preset and try applying it to another picture. Here's a picture I took at sunset with my drone. This was shot with a DJI Air 2S. I think there's a lot of potential here. You can see we're not clipping on either side of our histogram. So there is information still to extract from this image. So we're gonna go grab that enhanced sky preset that we have. So I'm gonna click on that and one click and it's looking pretty good. So if we click into this mask, we can kind of make our adjustments here. We can either dial it up, like I said before, or we can dial it down. Let's leave it somewhere in the middle. So if we look at our clipping warning, we are losing some detail here in the sky, 
but we already have this mask for this guy, so we can just go over here to our highlights and we can pull that back down. And now you can see if I turn this mask off and back on, the adjustments that have been made. Now there's a lot of different things you could do with these AI presets. And what I suggest that you do is look at different areas where you're spending the most time in your workflow. And if it's with always adjusting these masks, maybe try making some of these AI masks to help speed up your workflow a little bit. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna just show you how this works on a couple other images. So here's a picture of my dog, the one that I mentioned before that I was petting, you know. He just loves having his picture taken. We're out hiking one day and I tell him all the time, he's gotta change his fur color because he blends right in with the leaves during the fall. We're gonna apply some of these AI presets to just help him stand off the page a little bit more. So what I'm thinking is let's darken our background down a little bit. I like it, it looks pretty good already. And what happens if we uh, brighten our subject up a little? Look at that, we're going two clicks, two new masks, and just like that, our subject is just popping off the page. We're going from this where he kind of just blends into the background to this where he pops off of the page. That's a good boy. Let me show you this same thing on one last image. And on this image, we're gonna use all four AI presets that I currently have made. So first thing we're gonna do is, let's just go right down the list. We're gonna darken our background down. We're gonna enhance our sky. We're gonna soften some skin and we're gonna brighten our subjects up a little bit. And just like that, it's a totally new image. If I turn off all my masks, we went from this to this in just four clicks. One thing to note here for our skin softening layer, it is selecting both of their faces and softening the skin for both of them. And some people might be okay with this, but personally I don't love softening the skin of men. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just refine our mask a little bit. And it's very simple. We click on our mask that has our skin softening and we're gonna click this little minus sign below it. And we're gonna subtract from the mask. For this one, I'm just gonna use the brush. It'll be nice and easy. Increase the size of it a little bit. And I'm gonna bring up our mask so you can see what's going on. And I'm just gonna brush this right off of his skin. And that's it, we're done. And now you can see what our AI masks have done. We went from this image to this. So what do you think of this whole process? It's very easy and straightforward. In a matter of seconds, we can create a mask, make some adjustments to it, and then every image that comes up that's similar to that one we created the mask on, we can just one click and apply a preset and be done. And we can very easily manipulate images to be totally different than what they were when we originally took them. So what do you think of this whole AI mask addition to Lightroom? I personally love it. In just a couple clicks, we can totally transform an image we spend maybe a minute creating a preset that we will have forever. And every time we come across an image that's similar to that one, we can one click that preset, make some adjustments and we're done and we move on. And we're no longer sitting there dragging sliders around that take up so much of our time. Let me hear from you in the comments. Let me know if this is something that you think you're gonna add to your workflow. And if you would like for me to make a video on how I create some of my presets that aren't AI masks, let me know. I'm not gonna sell them to you. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. If you found any value in this video, give me a thumbs up, please. That's all I'm asking. I'm not here selling you anything today. Just asking for a little support and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.